So who would be a better handyman customer? Stay tuned and find out. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna take a little departure from the normal videos that I create, and we're gonna have a fun little, uh, little exercise. Uh, so I was out walking a little while ago, and I was thinking about ideas for my next couple of videos. And I thought to myself, who would be a better client to work for, Donald Trump or Kamala Harris? And uh, yeah, I, I started, the, the gear started turning and I started thinking, and I said, well, I don't want to have my personal um, bias or opinions in here. So I'm going to do a little bit of research. I'm going to use a little bit of AI. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this. And I'm going to, I'm going to share with you what the AI has come back with on who's better or worse, some of the pros and cons. And then I'll, I'll let you decide uh, if you own a handyman business or if you own any business, if you're trying to decide uh, who's gonna be a better customer, uh, just go ahead and drop a comment down below. So first we'll start with, with uh, Donald Trump. Okay, so let's talk about the pros first. So we can't deny uh, if you're a handyman, uh, dealing with people who have experience with real estate and construction is definitely helpful. So we know that Trump has an extensive experience in real estate, uh, which might make him knowledgeable about the value and quality of work and the costs associated with certain types of things. Uh, so that's a given. I think that's a fairly uh, pretty strong pro for Donald Trump. Uh, next thing we move on to potential for larger projects. So if you've been anywhere around the world or traveled, uh, you've probably seen the big Trump signs all over the place and big buildings and whatnot. Uh, so he is known for large projects uh, and given his history in real estate and owning multiple properties, there might be opportunities for larger projects or ongoing work. But we know in the handyman business that if somebody says, well, if you give me a good deal here, I have all these other places, uh, I might give you, uh, you know, more work. That can potentially be a red flag. So you got to be careful with that. Now, as we move on to the cons, the first one is demanding standards. Uh, so if you've watched The Apprentice or you just watched his first term and the amount of people that he fired, uh, he does have pretty demanding standards. He demands loyalty. Uh, his business background suggests that he might have high expectations and be very particular about the work that's done. Uh, so potentially leading to some challenging interactions if the work doesn't meet his standards. Uh, so if you're a handyman, maybe you've had those, those clients or those customers that are sitting over your shoulder, uh, watching everything, maybe getting out a flashlight and looking at the painting that you've done on the walls. Uh, so just imagine that, but now it's Donald Trump sitting behind you. So uh, those demanding standards are definitely out there. Uh, so something to, to keep in mind and consider if you're thinking about using or adding him as a customer to your handyman business. And then, the next one, uh, controversial payment practices. So there have been reports, and again, I'm not a journalist. I, uh, I'm trying to remain unbiased in this assessment here, but there have been reports and lawsuits alleging that Trump has, at times, delayed or disputed payments with contractors. Uh, this could be a concern if you prefer a, kind of a straightforward payment process. Uh, so if you're watching this video and maybe you uh, you agree with that or you disagree with that, if you've been one of those contractors that didn't get paid or if you are if you worked for him and you did get paid, go ahead and let me know. Drop a comment down below. And that goes for all of the, the statements that I'm, I'm making here. If you have your thoughts, ideas on any of the statements that I'm making, pros or cons, if I'm missing some, uh, go ahead and let me know. Now, as we move on to the vice president, Kamala Harris, and we start to talk about uh, the pros um, in terms of being a customer. Uh, the first one that I popped up with is a public service background. So her career is primarily been in public service. So it might suggest a more collaborative and communicative approach. Again, this is AI words. These are not my words, uh, but she may be more likely to work constructively with service providers. Uh, so curious what your thoughts are on that, if that's an indicator of somebody that's going to be a good customer or not. And as we move down, the second pro would be respect for professional services. Again, AI. Her legal background could imply a respect for 
contracts and professionalism, which may translate into reliable payment and clear communication. Uh, I think that's a little bit of a stretch. Um, I don't know. I'd have to, uh, I wouldn't go based off of just her legal background. I would want to have more knowledge and understanding of maybe some people that she's worked for before, uh, what some of the reviews are. Uh, there is a website out there called uh, Cust Customer Karma, I believe. And you can kind of use that site to rate customers. Um, I don't know. I actually, I don't even, I, I've heard that, that it's a site. I've actually never been on that, but it'd be curious maybe if I Googled uh, Trump and, and Harris on there, what I would pop up with. But those are the two pros that uh, my AI engine came back with. Now, as I move on to the cons, um, so less relevant experience. Uh, and this is in the light of comparing her to Trump as a customer, because unlike Trump, Harris does not have a background in real estate or construction, uh, which may or may not mean she's less understanding of the intricacies of handyman uh, work and the associated cost. Um, I don't know. Uh, she may have been hiring people to work at her houses for, for years and years and years and be better than Trump. Um, so it's a, a little misleading uh, when you see that. Uh, she definitely, there's no doubt she has less experience with real estate and construction, but whether that translates into a, a pure con is kind of to be determined. And then finally, uh, this one was funny, a busy schedule. <laughs> so as a high ranking political figure, her schedule might be highly demanding, potentially making it difficult to coordinate appointments and address issues promptly. Uh, I, I would argue they both have some pretty busy schedules. Maybe Harris is a little bit busier. Again, um, just a thought and idea on that. Uh, but we've all worked for customers that are in these situations, right? That it's, it's hard to, to, to nail them down to, to set up a time and to set up a schedule. And I would say that con probably belongs on Trump's side as well. Um, so, you know, when it's all said and done, who do you want to work for? You know, you got two inquiries come in at the same time. They're looking to hire you for a week. Which one are you going for? Go ahead and drop a comment or a, a suggestion down the bottom, who would you would want to work for and why you would want to work for. I'm kind of curious and looking forward to laughing at some of the comments. But in conclusion, you know, choosing the better customer really depends on your business priorities. If you value a potential or high value projects and can handle demanding clients, you might lean towards Trump, right? If you prefer potentially more straightforward and respectful interaction, maybe Harris is your better choice. Uh, these assessments are speculative and based on public personas rather than my own personal experience. Uh, and it's, you know, the purpose for this video is to spur some conversation and some thoughts. I'm looking forward to some comments and I uh, wish you guys the best. Thanks. Have a great day. And if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and like, subscribe to this video and stay tuned for the next one.